So welcome guys, in the previous video we saw the reactor right here and we used the fuel and the air, we got the stack gas right here. But in this video I'm going to show you what's the workbook and in order to see the potential of the workbook I added more units, I added the cooler and the compressor. Essentially this cooler is going to cool down up to here up to 250 celsius and then we will compress the gas right here which has a 1 to 5 ratio here sorry 1 to 10 ratio now we have two new streams which is pmax the final product and we have the energy going out of the cooler and the energy going in or the water going into the compressor now instead of just analyzing these tables right here it is much easier once you have more units more streams and more energy, more compositions, to go directly to the workbook, which is here. Automatically, you will get the workbook here. It's open to the right from the flow sheet tab, and you will have these four sub tabs right here. And the room of workbook opens itself. Now, you got material streams, composition streams, energy streams, and the unit operations. I think this is the best way to see the overall process uh, right now so you got for instance you got this stream fuel stream pure oxygen stream air stack gas liquid products pmax so it will go on and on adding tables so the most important part most likely in the reactor will be to know the temperature so you just go here here and check out the temperature for stack gas 1764 celsius for the product as stated we wanted to change it to 250 when it's blue it states that we can change it so we can modify it right now directly and as you can see if you check out pmax was our final value we can keep going down and down or even up up whatever you want so this is cool because you can modify it Let's say what will happen if we had the fuel that already preheated to 100 Celsius and the air as well, 100 Celsius, what will happen. So you can keep going, check out the temperatures, composition, changes, etc. I'm going to take it back right here. So the compositions, we can change the blue ones. The other ones are calculated based on the simulation. So what will happen if we got a enriched air, which is, I don't know, maybe 60 and like this of course will decrease the content on the nitrogen you can go directly to materials you will see that the temperature will be a little bit higher and so on let's change this to the original values so this is cool as well to know which variables are dependent and which are independent for instance blue ones are independent the Non the black letters or black color letters are not they cannot be changed they are based on other inputs now energy flows as stated i only have two which is the cool the heat going out and the workflow they are here so you can go directly to the unit which is connected to the compressor or you double click here you will go to the result chart right here and in your stream you can check out the well if it has a reference temperature typically it's 25 celsius or zero depending you can check out the unit operation which is compressor the type of well these three tabs are actually not that useful and finally unit operations it's also awesome because you can go directly check out the reactor which type of reactor is it uh, what's the inlet we know it's fuel and air and we know the outlet is liquid and stack gas, so you can keep track of it. Double click to go directly to this uh, table right here. You already know it. Con blue conditions and compositions right here. Maybe you want to check out the stack gas. What does it has? What's where does it connect? It connects to the Q cool and the product. And you can keep moving and playing with the workbook. It's awesome, especially when you have plenty of uh, units for instance if we were to eliminate it and go back to our previous setup you will see that 
this is not that interesting. The less units we have and the less streams we have, the more boring the workbook becomes. It, it's not that interesting. For instance, you have a workbook with one reactor. You have a workbook with zero energy flows. The compositions are kind of fixed. The material streams are, well, yet I still prefer to watch the material streams right here. If it's a low number of streams and unit operations.